player of the match as Cameroon qualified for the FIFA Women's World Cup for the second time, Jeanette Yango left her homeland age 16 to become a professional football player. It's everyone's dream to play for their country, especially in the Africa Cup of Nations or the Women's World Cup. Everyone's watching. You're on TV. It's what every female footballer aspires to. From the age of 12, I started playing with girls, and then after that, I played at a Cameroonian club, and I really started to play seriously when I was 14. And that's when I started to love football. I then began watching football on the TV a lot. I wanted to be like Samuel Leto and even Roger Miller, who people spoke about all of the time. I played in Thailand, then Serbia, and then I went to Poland, and after that Germany. And now I've been in France for six years. I've done that because I love football. I love playing football, and it's what makes me happy. A skillful and versatile midfielder, Yango now lives and plays in Brittany as the only professional for Saint-Malo in the French second division. The 25-year-old started all four of Cameroon's games in the 2015 Women's World Cup, a tournament that changed her life. Playing in a Women's World Cup is truly magical. It's a dream come true. A World Cup doesn't happen very often, and there are players who never get the opportunity to play in a World Cup. It was an incredible experience. We had a wonderful journey, and we made it past the group stage. In the end, we lost against China. It was hugely enriching, and as a team, we really matured from that experience. Because before that, we were very young indeed. Reaching the round of 16 on their Women's World Cup debut helped to start something of a women's footballing revolution in Cameroon. Nowadays, it seems as though every young girl wants to play football. It's become a dream for everyone. Women's football is growing, it's positive, there's more interest in football, and we are starting to see greater equality. And many more people come to watch us play in the national stadium, which I think is hugely encouraging. Since arriving in France in 2013, Jeanette Yango has finally found her footballing home. This summer, she is hoping to realize more of her dreams. I didn't come on holiday. I came to France for my job, for football. I feel good here. I speak the language, and it's been going very well. You could call France my second home. I have a lot of friends here. I've been here for a number of years, and a lot of people know me here. I think that means there's a little bit of pressure on me, but that also motivates me. I'm very happy to be able to play in the Women's World Cup here. Firstly, I want to get into the second round, because it's going to be very difficult looking at our group. There won't be any easy games. It will be very difficult compared to the 2015 Women's World Cup. I would love to shine at the Women's World Cup, to score goals and to qualify, to pass the first round, and why not reach the semi-finals or even the final? That would be a dream. 